So what is Kasaya exactly? It's a software company, I'll tell you, headquartered right here in downtown Miami. And contrary to what we saw happen with FTX, they say they're good for the money. Commissioner Bastien. Yes. The deal is done. Miami-Dade County is projected to get over $83 million in revenue for what will now be known as the Kaseya Center. So where will that money go? We asked. The commission says it'll go towards their peace and prosperity plan. But we haven't dedicated any real funding to showing that the issue should have been solved and we have a solid plan for it. So for now, they say the money will go towards policing, internships at $13 an hour, partnering with colleges and universities, and creating 3,000 jobs. They're very high paying jobs. They're uh, north of $100,000 in average salary. But there was some apprehension. I, I feel with this item that we're asking to trust with a very little verification. I mean, this is a $117 million contract. It's one of the largest contracts any of us will ever vote on. And it's a term of 17 years. There is nobody here that is going to be here 17 years from now. Still, the item passed unanimously. The previous naming rights owner, FTX, filed for bankruptcy, leaving questions about the money that was initially promised to the county. But this Kaseya deal comes in at over three and a half million more than that FTX deal. Last year, we completed a $6 billion acquisition of a publicly traded company. So in terms of our financial stability, we're a very strong company. We're valued probably at around $12 billion. So when will we see Kaseya Center hit the building behind me? Well, exactly when is is unclear, but what we can tell you is that the first payment is due June 30th in the amount of $3.7 million. Downtown, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.